Hey, uh, I'm Abdul Kader, uh, the developer of Infitar IT Solutions. Uh, today, I will make a tutorial about how to page the live feed uh, data from Jero QuickBooks directly. So every time the so data updated in Jero QuickBooks, Salesforce, Blue, EHRs, and um, other CRM system, it should be automatically updated into the Joho Analytics uh, for making the advanced report widgets and for uh, every other thing. So let's have a look uh, what I can do uh, for fetching the live feed URL data into the Joho Analytics uh, by using the API integration. So let's have a look uh, what I'm going to do it uh, right now. So uh, this is the CRM uh, analytics. So if I click on the data source, hold on, it's loading. And I'm changing it to fork space, Joe CRM reports. So, Hold on, I'm um, going to data source. So uh, in data source, uh, I'm trying to put uh, a add data source. So in add data source, I'm doing the import data from feed URLs or live feeds URLs. So you don't need to every time just import and export uh, from the other uh, CRM or other platforms to Joho Analytics. So whenever data updated to the other platform, it should be automatically updated into the analytics. If I use the uh, live feed URLs uh, in Joho Analytics uh, by authenticating the API details. Hold on. It's loading. Just test. And I'm putting the system file type should be JSON. And authentication type should be auth2. And you see uh, for authentication, it asking for grant type. Grant type should be client credentials. And I need to put the client ID, client secret, access token URL, which I can find to the other uh, platform from which I need to fetch the data like a zero quickbooks or sales um, ports or have port or from blue ehr system so i will show you the example for fetching the data from blue ehr system to the analytics real times we schedule on every hour so we don't need to put every time on the export and import so this is a zero so this is the client ID I know already, and this is a client secret, and this is the access token, and I know on the scope should be API, and the prefix should be bearer token, and the authentication method should be basic authentication header, and it should be in the header. So let update the live feed URL uh, put here, or the API URLs, and the access token URLs by which i will uh, create the access token so let's click here click on the connections and i see you see blue ehr rest api so i'm going to the environment variables uh work demo so this is the page url so clicking on the collection authentication api uh credential details so uh, you see this is the api i'm copying it and paste it here so what i need to do, do i need to change the page url and authentication facility authentication with the facility id so click in the postman in the postman i have page all the api information for blue 
EHR already. Uh, so let's find the page URL. So this is the page URL. Uh, you see. Uh, hold on. Let me put the page URL. This is the base URL. And let me put the facility. Facility should be Walker demo. Okay, hold on. So, Walker demo is here. I'm putting Walker demo. It's okay. Now, what I need to do, I need to change the endpoint url for which i will page the information so i'm going to search uh, the patient uh, uh, hold on in demographic api patient search and this is the base uri actually so let me send here it's such invalid url uh, let me Authenticate the credentials. Pass send. You see, uh, I have got the access token. Uh, now going to the get patient for finding uh, or fetching the URL. So let's in the authentication it should be bearer. Put the token. Send it. Hold on, and you see uh, this is the URL. I find it out uh, just copy from here to here and paste it uh, into uh, here in the URL I'm going to paste it uh, no problem so change the facility to Walker demo Let me see everything is okay now. Now click the next. Okay. So it's already existing with the same name. Now I need to change the table name. Like in B the let's retry. You see, all the data are now coming from blue EHR server, and it should be uh, real time. So every time updated data into the blue EHR, it should be updated here. If I go to the blue EHR website, BLU blue EHR. So you see, from blue EHR, I'm fetching the data into analytics, and it's real time using the API authentication. You see, this is the blue EHR uh, from blue EHR to show analytics that are coming. Create. You see, uh, 29 records imported. Total column 29s. And you see, I can schedule is once week, monthly, on every n hours, one hours. Okay. Step. So I need to put the client ID, client credential. Okay. So schedule and imported. So let's have a look in the data source. You see, in filter IT data tabs, it thinks successfully. It should be paged every one hour. And if I click uh, page now, it should be imported again. And now go to the data and search in feather IT. So replace. Just already done sound. Uh, okay. So. In fidelity, I need to search it actually. I like in, I yeah. You see, this is the in fidelity. 
so data should be fetched real time or data should be fetched every one hour later from the live server from Jero, QuickBooks, Blue EHR, uh, or Salesforce Hubspot Portal from any other server to the Joho Analytics. Uh, then we can make the custom reports, application, widgets, anything we want. And so it will reduce your uh, time, uh, it will reduce your cost. Uh, just doing the manual uh, operations like uh, exports imports everything so it is a really uh, time consuming and cost consuming so i think you uh, like this video how we are fetching the uh, data from other servers to joho analytics via live feed urls using the api authentication so it's okay now okay thanks uh, thanks for watching the tutorial